So hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm here down in Dustin's Woodland. We're having an awesome little Christmas party. He's been such a gentleman, such a great host. We've had some great food, great breakfast, great banter, great people. Um, I'll show you around, let's get into it. That's the quality one. Most people buy that one. Might as well leave the food and beers up here, I guess. Absolutely. Have you been here before? I haven't. So I've just met up with Josh. How you doing, buddy? All right, bud. Yeah, good. Excited to be here in Dustin's Wood. It's proper lush, isn't it? It's awesome. Just seen the Viking hut over there. Got the big banquet hall kind of set up over there. And uh, yeah, stoked to be there. Let's go check out the roundhouse. Oh yes, let's do it. Are you staying in here, man? I'm staying in here. Yeah, so yeah. the plan is we're just going to chill up there tonight. Yeah. And then uh, tonight we'll go down in the roundhouse. Awesome. This is so cool, guys. Finally been here after seeing it so many times on camera. So, guys, welcome to the Bushcraft Village. Um, that's Dustin's work of art down there. I'll bring you around all of the things properly in a little bit. I'm going to get my Polish Levu set up. I'm back in that this weekend uh, and I've actually got my Corinthia Defence 4 sleeping bag which it seems every time I come to one of Dustin's things I get a new Corinthia bag. Um, but this one's rated to minus 15, minus 35 in extreme so I should be really warm because the Defence 1 last week was a little bit chilly. So we've got the Levu all set up now, um, nice and cosy with the poncho in there at the bottom, so it should be really cosy. Yeah, the large, I think it's probably for a taller person, maybe like yourself, yeah. maybe worth, yeah. worth it. But then even with me, you know, if I'm laying down in there, it's pretty yeah. I've got quite a lot of room. Hello you! <laughs> so we've had a tiny little bit of rain today, but nothing major. Got the Levu all set up. Josh has been giving me kind assistance. And uh, yeah, it's been going really well. Is your name Liam? Liam? Liam it is as well. I've just been showing another chap, Liam, who's here for the, uh, the Christmas feast. The Levu, he's pretty impressed with it. So we're just taking a walk down to the kind of feast area. Dustin's got an awesome setup. Just there with Josh from Feared Woods. I'll make sure I put a link down in the description, give him a follow, he's been a great hand already. And I'm gonna show you guys what we have for tonight for dinner, because it is a feast. So not only have we got a sick fire, we have an awesome cut of meat. It's a whole half a lamb that Dustin's got for us. Look at all that rub on there as well, man. It's insane. Nuts. All cross hashed. So much seasoning on it. Yeah. It's such a good fire below it, look at that. So after getting the Levu all set up, me and Josh just went down to the kind of eating area where Dustin's put on a, a good spread and we've got that huge half a lamb. Uh, not only that, we've got loads of other food. I've got some beer, I've got the trusty Sierra Nevada. Um, me and Josh are just going to go explore, have a little look at the Viking house that Dustin's built. Um, with TA, I believe, and then uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So the, the, the hot air would come up and it would like twist. And I can't remember if he was using it to. He might, he might have been cooking something. I can't remember exactly. It's a couple of years ago now. That's amazing. But, um, so cool. Yeah. 
Here's the bar. Yeah, cheers, buddy. Cheers, bro. Good to see you in Nevada's. Thank you very much, mate. Pretty cool little structure. Yeah, it's good to be here with Josh. Um, we met each other at the Bushcraft show, you probably saw us in the videos, and uh, yeah, it's just good to be here, man. A couple of years ago now, Yeah, yeah. 2019. You reminded me earlier, it's been so long. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really cool little spot, isn't it? Well, it's, it's honestly like the, um, the amount of projects that Dustin and Mike, I guess, as well, have done here, it's just... Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's next level, right? Obviously, we've got the Viking House here, uh, which is... Yeah, it was one of those iconic builds, I guess. Yeah. It was the first big build they did. 100%. And then, you know, you've probably seen the video later, it was, you know, the, it was the roundhouse down there yeah. and all the other little bits <laughs> and his cabin and all that stuff. Which we'll probably be locating to later, won't we, after yeah. having the food and stuff. So I, th I think the plan is, is to, we're going to have that spit roast lamb. Yep. And then we'll head down there and just get, get the fire and get the drinks out. And, um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Man, it's going to be lush. This is actually really nice, by the way. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, Craig said it as well. It's like a session. Just you can just drink, get it down. Yeah. That's, I really like it. That's the nice thing about because um, obviously a lot of the craft beers you have one, and you're just like, don't know. If you yeah, can don't do it. Know. Yeah, that's it. I had, they got such a unique flavour. I think. In it, I had I had one the other day. It was Northern Monk something, but it was like drinking a pudding, <laughs> and it was like twelve percent, and it was oh, no. it, it was great. But yeah. Yeah, it was. But it's like I had I, I, on my last solo camp. I had this stouty beer, and yeah, it was, even though it was a little stubby can, man, it was just was it just like syrup? Yeah, it was like yeah. syrupy coffee. Like I couldn't do it. Charcoal. Oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna sink into these, and then I'm gonna show you something which is really cool that um, Josh has been doing with his axe, and it's just uh, yeah, absolutely love it. Really cool little skill. So yeah, we'll get into that. So Josh is just going to show me something really cool. Um, there's a lot of cedar around here. It's mainly a cedar woodland, which is something I don't come across in my local woodland. Um, so I haven't really had access to. And he's going to show us something really cool and a way to collect tinder from it. So what this woodland predominantly is, is Western Red Cedar, which is Fuya Piccata. Uh, this is the bark of it. So one nice thing about this we can use the bark for is actually creating tinder. So with the back of your knife, you could use the spine of it, but on these more agarbergs, we've got this little end here, so that's perfect actually for just scraping. Look at that. <laughs> the inside, of all that inner bark up. Such a cool feature on that knife, isn't it? Oh mate, it's um, it's designed just for getting things done real, real easy. It's a good wilderness knife. And then we've got all that cedar in there. It's a little bit damp. Let's just see. That's amazing there. If we can get it's light, I don't think it will because I can feel the moisture in my hands. We'll have a little play. But it's something anyway. you could put, you know, in your pocket, keep it getting drying out or Yeah, totally. Bottom of your sleeping bag. Just trying to fluff it up. I mean that that bit has been left out for a while though. Yeah. There we are. That should have spread that a little bit. Even with damp cedar. Yeah, it's so got, flammable, this stuff. We did get a flame. There we are, look at that. It's so flammable. Good work, Josh. Thanks for sharing that, buddy. Sorry, bro. So, Josh was gonna, you're gonna show me your awesome axe collar, aren't you? It's yeah. A, a really cool take on, obviously a lot of people use leather ones, don't they, so. Uh, it seems to be the norm, isn't it? Yeah. The, the leather axe collars. And um, I haven't committed yet. Or so. over strike guards. And I think the issue a lot, I, I see a lot of people put them on there. Yeah. And then they realize they can't choke up on the axe, so they take them off. <laughs> Um, but of course the whole idea of, a, of an axe collar or overstrike guard is to protect the wood um, near the actual head of the axe from yes. chipping if you should overstrike because it happens, you know. Yeah, you don't want to weaken it, do you, yeah. anymore? So what I've done with mine is instead of using leather, I've actually used rawhide. So cool. So you can get rawhide from multiple different sources. There's actually buffalo rawhide from a bit that my friend gave me, but you can use a dog chew. Nice, yeah, yeah. Like that. And it's, um, it basically reacts to water, so it'll be very hard. Yep. and constricted um, and then you soak it in warm water for a bit and suddenly it becomes pliable and you can move it Almost around like and leather. cut it and all these sort of things. Yep, it's really really cool. It's like such a hard wearing material isn't it and it blends in really tightly as well to that to that axe shaft. Well the, the thing of an axe that we want is we want to be able to manipulate the whole handle. So I want to be able to hold it up here say if I'm doing delicate work carving, yep. or if I'm splitting, not so much on an axe this size, but on a larger axe, you want to be able to hold it up and bring it down like that. You want to have an almost seamless transition. Yeah. And because rawhide 
is so tough, naturally it's, you can have a much thinner layer. Mm -hmm. So what I did with this, I wrapped it around and then sanded it down with the wood on the, on the, on the handle. I was actually replacing the handle on this one. Right. Because it's had about 10 years, yeah. <laughs> crazy use, and it just it had a split here because of no overstrike. Of God, course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> but what I did was I, I, in scraping that rawhide and reducing it, I took the scrapings off and boiled them up and made like a rawhide glue. Awesome, yeah. Which is the perfect thing to use for this. It's, um, so I use that to actually fix this on. Yeah, and I'll bring the camera in closer in a minute. Get yeah, some yeah, close-ups yeah, yeah. as show, well. Show people what's going on here. Yeah, because um, it's it's a really snug, tight fit, isn't it? It's yeah. And oh, but that's not coming off. That's you know there is no no distortion in where your hand placement is either. Mm. You know you haven't got that ten mil of leather or five mil of leather yeah, around. Yeah, totally. The nice thing about rawhide is as it dries, it contracts. So one, we're providing contraction around this. Yep. So it's really gripping in. Which is you know it's, it's solid. It's kind of like a ferrule. Uh, another thing is it's just way tougher. Like I've struck this on on, on wood, yeah. and it doesn't tear like leather does. No. Like leather scuffs up real easy. Like when you just get the grain and it's yeah, because it, it, it's so it's nice. a good cushion leather, but mm. it's uh, like you said, it's quite weak really in reality. Yeah. When when you're talking about an axe, the, the amount of power you're putting down into that. Yeah, totally. Compared so, um, to something like that, and it's really really beautifully stitched. So at the wilderness gathering last year, we were butchering um, butchering an American elk. And I managed to acquire some of the leg tendons, we were cutting them open, and um, so I've, I've had them drying out, and I've just split them up, and basically just going to create a cord out of them, okay. like very very thin. Yep. And then the idea being is when I stitch this with the elk tendon, that's going to shrink as well. Okay. On really the next pull one, it together. And just, yeah, be yeah. even more solid, and then it's completely natural as well because we've got the rawhide glue, yep, as well as the rawhide and the tendon, that's amazing. all in one piece, yeah. which I just love, like. No, fully, fully unique piece as well. It's really great. Like I said, I'll bring the camera in, but something worth thinking out about, um, you know, the different possibilities. That's, that's why I love what Josh does. He kind of thinks outside the box and, uh, you know, even with his knives, which he was talking to me about. So there's going to be stuff in the pipeline in the future with that kind of stuff. Should be long now. No, yeah, yeah not far off, but really, really cool idea. And uh, to be honest, I'm glad I haven't put a leather collar on because I probably will end up doing this. This is the way, that, and it also it's a really nice way of just learning and understanding a new material. Yeah, yeah, um, I haven't had any experience with yeah, rawhide. It's it, it's amazing stuff. And actually, even the rawhide glue, you see I've used that and there's there's no yep. there's no transition between that. It looks like one piece. Yes. However, that is where the rawhide stops and where the glue starts. Brilliant. And it's all just, Oh, it's just Cohesive. amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's, it, it's it, I, I, I get blown away by somehow, uh, sometimes how natural materials are just so perfect for something. Yeah. And we've been using modern things all this time. I know. Yeah. And then suddenly <laughs> nature comes along and it's like, actually. You'd have been better off not tanning that leather. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. That's perfect. it. Straight up. Well, I'll bring you in closer and you can have a little look and feast your eyes on it. There we are, guys. You can see all the stitching on the back. And the lovely kind of transition between that and the handle, it's pretty much seamless. And it's such a solid material, you can tell. It's almost the sound of the wood. Whereas if it was leather, that would be very cushioned. You'd have a thick kind of pronounced step here, which would make, like Josh said, choking up really, really just awkward, to be honest. And I absolutely love the color of it, dude. Another thing to consider with this as well is, um, obviously rawhide reacts to water. Yep. So when we've got it in and when it's dried, a little bit of linseed oil, same as the handle. Okay. Rate it over and that seals it. Yeah, brilliant. So again, we're using an actual material, and it's it's. Yeah, I yeah, love it. Perfect. Uh, this perfect product. That's great. Thanks ever so much for that, Josh. And yeah, definitely check out Rawhide, and uh, check out Josh's Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. So Dustin's got the rosemary brush there, yeah. basting up. Stops it from burning. What's in the base then, Dustin? Uh, that's just a bit of oil, a bit of water, some seasoning, and lots of lemon. That's amazing. This looks insane. So we've got Matt here who prepared the lamb. He's basing up the lamb at the moment. Absolutely amazing. We've got teas with a little video that Dustin sent of this getting prepared yesterday, which I'll try and include in the video, but... It's just awesome to be here and seeing it get all cooked. Yeah. 
ones I'm making now are going to be different than the full tang ones. Yeah, yeah. These are six tang ones, and I used to pull Joe's out of all one. So I'm just going to crack into a Beaver Town gamma ray. Uh, lamb's getting about there, and uh, yeah, just having an awesome time. It's not going to be loads of loads of stuff that I'm filming today. Uh, but I'll probably catch up in the morning with a load of footage of the site and the camp because it's about to get dark. So I'm just going to film the evening's antics. I'll speak to you soon. So the lamb's coming on nicely. Some of the lads are doing some bushcraft practice. Okay, so try and get a, a little pile right in there of the actual Pharisean without the uh, you know, heat it off, it off, and then when it's in there, it's just going to all direct that heat in one place. Yeah. Whoa. Some baked brie and camembert. Yes, yeah, insane. Baked. That's the brie. That's the camembert. And then we've got a little. Christy, look at the truck. Something extra. A little bit of truffle. Oh boy. Maybe a little bit more than a little bit. Try <laughs> a little bit. Good man, Dustin. What a spread, guys. Such a cool vibe here. There's Care Bear. Got some baked camembert and some truffles there. Absolutely amazing. Thanks ever so much, Dustin. Looking good, Dustin. Hey, looking good. Cooking good. <laughs> it's cooking good in the woods. What we do? Sonny, Sonny dog. be gone. <laughs> you gone. <laughs> no, my filming days are long gone by. Look at that lamb, guys. Enjoy it, Matt. Awesome, guys. Oh, he's going in for more. <laughs> Thanks so much. Awesome. Love it. Thanks, mate. Here we are, guys. There's the flatbread with some lamb that's been just cooked over the fire for hours. I'm going to dig into this. Everyone's having a great time. And Josh, how's your lamb? Good man. Good to be saying. First job I really got. And they alternate between either in use. So the lamb has been absolutely butchered and it is going down an absolute storm. Um, it was so tasty. Had some tzatziki on some flatbread, loads of lamb, some salad, and it was bloody gorgeous, guys. Can't recommend it highly enough. Looking forward to spending the rest of the evening having a few drinks, getting some down. We've got some neck oil from Beaver Town, and uh, yeah, we're just going to go from there. So hey guys, we've been having a really good time. Just had some lamb in some flatbreads, haven't we? So good. It's amazing. So, so good. good. And this is uh, Rob from Storb and Limited Bushcraft. So definitely guys. go check out his channel. Thank you very um, much, man. We met at the Bushcraft Show primarily with your. Your friend here as well, yep. Jack. Uh, Jack, that's yep. it. I was going to say James. <laughs> I was going to say James, but no, it's Jack. It's Jeeves. <laughs> Jeeves. Jeeves. And uh, Josh is here with us. So yeah, just in front of the Viking shelter that Dustin and Mike built. Um, yeah, really awesome to be here, and yeah, just been having a great time. It's good to finally meet you. you yeah, know, and get to know it's you. It's an awesome woodland as well, isn't it? It's beautiful just to have a little walk around. Yeah. Break away from the the main hustle and bustle of the Christmas party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's been a really good vibe, hasn't it? Everyone's yeah. having a really good time. Oh, How so, good was that slow cook? Yeah. <laughs> man, just so tender. The fat guys just was like even that was just just melted in the mouth like butter. Yeah, so, yeah. very juicy as well. Very yeah. juicy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean my yeah. hands were just like oh, still Dripping. still lamby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Good in the, cooking good in the woods, isn't it? You so can't beat it. In the woods, yeah. So yeah, definitely go check out Storb and Limited Bushcraft Much appreciated. Um, over on YouTube and Instagram. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys soon. We're going to have loads of drinks, so I'm sure you'll see them soon. Cheers, Steve. Awesome, dude. <laughs> 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 Everyone, and thank you, Jack, for the drink. Cheers! 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 Cheers!
Thank you. Thank you, Dustin, for an amazing night. Thank you. Oh my god, what is that? You found it. You liked the show. It did turn up. <laughs> so me and Liam have been uh, given the job of preparing the fires by the Celtic hut and the roundhouse, the log cabin, everything like that. Sawing through some wood. With an absolute monster of a silky. Right, boys. Josh. Josh has just come along. I've been splitting some timber here. Some cedar with this axe, just for some kindling. We're going to get the fire and the log burner all going now. Oh, that's a big bit, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There's some big feather six boy. Yeah. Surprise <laughs> me. So Liam's very kindly helping. <laughs> saw the logs, I've just held the log for him. And now it's my turn to saw using this extremely long bit of wood on the cedar. <laughs> it's a great bit of kit. Good man, thank you dude. So here we are guys, just about to go into the Celtic Roundhouse. Probably can't see it because it's pitch black outside at the moment. We've got the fire going amazingly. Hey Liam. Josh is over there, how are you doing bud? You good? <laughs> oh, good baby. Good man. we got the other Liam here, how you doing? I'm good Liam, you? Yeah good, <laughs> awesome Liam. So yeah we've got the fire going, some nice cedar wood on there. And uh, yeah, just waiting. We're gonna invite all the other people back now to camp. Now we got it all ready for them, and it should be good. Have a good few more hours of some festivities. So hey guys, had a really awesome evening so far. We're just back at the roundhouse at the moment, which I'll show you tomorrow. Get a really good look at that and all the awesome shelters that Dustin's made. Um, yeah, had an eventful night. Had some really cool lamb. Just about to head to bed. Um, I'll catch up with you in the Lavu. Um, I'm about to crawl in. I've got the Defence 4 Corinthia sleeping bag, which I'm really excited to try. I um, haven't used it yet. It's good down to minus 15, so I should be really comfy tonight. Uh, shouldn't be cold at all, and I'll catch up with you guys uh, very soon, and definitely in the morning. I'm in the... Uh So you guys, in the uh, Levu now. <clears throat> so you guys, in the Levu now, really, really comfy. Um, had an awesome evening. Um, I'm in the Defence 4 sleeping bag by Corinthia, and I have to say, it is so super warm. Um, had an awesome night, had some good drinks, good memories, um, and yeah, met some awesome people. So definitely cannot wait for the morning, get some breakfast on, and I'll see you then. Good night, guys. So good morning, guys. Set really well in the Lavu, the Defence 4 Corinthia bag, by the way. Insane, I was so cosy all night. It's probably the best bag I've ever been in. Absolutely love it. I'm just uh, starting to pack all these bits down to get my air mat deflated. Um, and yeah. Looking forward to getting some breakfast on. We've got loads of streaky bacon, sausages, all sorts. So we're gonna be heading down from the little bushcraft village, which I'll take you on a tour around, because there's some awesome little bits here, and uh, it's really good to see some detail in the light. And we're gonna go have some breakfast, and uh, then that's us done for the day. We had a really, really amazing evening. Just real good vibes all around, good drinks, good music, um, and yeah, an awesome sleep in this woodland. Really, really nice to be here. Big thanks to Dustin again. And like I said, I'll catch up with you when I show you around the village. You can see the log cabin, Coic Roundhouse, the bark shelter. So much to show, and I'll see you soon.
just got this amazing yeah. streaky bacon. Mm. Yeah, so good to have breakfast, that. cooked over a fire. Real good butcher's bacon. There's some sausages coming. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll see you soon. Well, you can have another hour in bed and then go on later. How did you find So, I'm just about to take down my Lavoo. It's been an awesome trip. I'm gonna hike back to the main area where we've been having some food, say bye to everyone, and uh, yeah, gonna head off then. It's been really great. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Here we are in the Kelty Cup. Absolutely amazing. It's obviously very dark in here. It's fully thatched. It's a really solid roof. It's got a wattle and daub hurdle walls. Absolutely perfect. We just need constant kind of upkeep to keep it draft proof. But even in here, despite that, it's super toasty. Come on, Sonny. Hey Liam, how you doing? <laughs> so I'm just about to leave the woodland guys. Got my Wii Sport on the back. It's been an absolutely awesome time. Really enjoyed it. And big thanks to Dustin and everyone else who came along, including uh, Storb and Limited Bushcraft. Really good to meet Rob from there. Good to see Josh from Feared Bushcraft, Feared Woods. Um, and yeah, glad the truck's all safe. Uh, I'm gonna load my bag up. So Rob's been making some crepes this morning. Really awesome, dude. That's a work of art. Normally they just stick for me. <laughs> Cast iron skillet, well seasoned. Absolutely, That's the man. trick. <laughs> no, really good meeting you this weekend, dude. Yeah, you too. You too, and, man. Uh, yeah, definitely go check them out, guys. And Thanks, uh, we'll catch up with you soon. So, had an awesome time, just about to head off now. I've got about a three hour drive until um, I'm back home, but it should be really nice and relaxing because I've had just such a great night. The Corinthia Defence 4 sleeping bag was absolutely insane, so comfy. And again, a big thank you to Dustin from Bushcraft Tools. Go and check him out, drop him a subscribe, like his stuff. Um, he's an amazing host and I've had the best time. Um, until then, stay safe and I'll see you soon.